And it's gotta be Settlement Project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Turn on the TV to Power Rangers, yeah Now it's more than time, I'm ready to go Alright, mate Ah, oh, it's been hard out here, but I finally had to, was able to come in here and do my thing. This is Jason Statham sitting in for Rashad Waters on Color Commentary, where they give you views from a different side. You know what I mean? Today, we're going to be talking about something I've been talking about for a long time, but nobody believes me. We're going to talk about the Meg. It's out there. It's killing people. Let's get into this movie. First of all, we're going to have our stereotypical black person here who doesn't want to get in the water, Mr. Charlie Taylor. What's going on there, sir? What's up, guys? Now What's, up, guys? What's up, guys? Can you hear me? Can you hear me in the water there? All right. Yeah, I didn't, you don't normally start with me, so I wasn't, wasn't prepared. But yeah, I'm doing good. I had to throw, doing it good. Off. I had to throw you uh, off, you know what I mean? Well, you threw me off. You threw me off. I was like, I still got a couple seconds. But anyways, yeah, I'm ready to get into this movie. Ah, uh, it was a uh, 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 type of movie to me, but we're with KFH, party easy, doing parties of all kinds. We definitely aren't doing a party for this movie, but uh, we'll see about <laughs> we'll see about doing some other events for some other ones. But uh, good to be here today, guys. How about you? All right, all right, sounds good, sounds good, mate. All right, so now, unlike uh, this movie, we actually have two black people on this show here. Let's go ahead and bring on another one. Mr. Danny J. Quick, what's going on there, sir? You know what I mean. I think I'm. I think I'm actually the stereotypical black guy. Phil Chuck, Chuck is actually a good swimmer. I, he actually <laughs> swimming very good. Me, not so much. You know who it is? It's your boy Danny J. Quick. I was just reading up on uh, shark attacks. My son just happened to have this shark attack book, and I don't see anything about uh, anything that happened in this movie in here. Uh, doesn't seem like sharks actually uh, kill people like that, but uh, I actually enjoyed the movie. I don't know. I might be the contrarian again. I might be going back to my old role because I actually really had a good time watching this one. So I'm ready. I'm ready to, uh, to check it out. Let's do it. Are you trying to say that sharks don't kill people, mate? Let me tell you something here. Let me tell you something. These sharks, they will destroy your life. They'll eat your lunch, swallow your kneecaps, uh, throw, up, throw up your eyeballs. These things are terrible, mate. Let's get into this movie so I can tell you about this. By the way, I'm Rashad Waters with Block Band Music and Publishing, where we sell music and instruments to march bands all across the nation. Danny J. Quick, how did this movie win, mate? Man, oh man. Okay, so you know me. If, if, if y'all have been watching, you know me. I have certain expectations when I go see movies. So this movie, I expected a few things, and I got all of those things in waves, okay? <laughs> So I'm not a big, you know, shark movie fan. Tiana, my wife, Tiana, she loves uh, Jaws. Like it's one of her favorite series. Um, and I didn't like Jaws because it was so slow. Like the movie was just so slow. And when you think of sharks, you think of fast, you know, fast pace. Oh, this, 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 this. And, you know, sharks are so fast and swift and agile. You wouldn't expect a movie to be slow like that. This movie was very fast paced, like right at the beginning. There was the, the explosion. You see the dude going down. You, he established his character. He's the deep sea diver rescue. And then you go to, you know, uh, years in the future. Uh, now you see why they got to bring him back in. They got to go get him. Then he comes in. It's like every, they didn't waste a lot of time uh, explaining anything. I didn't need it to be explained because it's fiction. You know, I know this, this shark doesn't exist. It's just like, uh, what was This it? shark does exist, mate. It does exist. I mean, the shark, the shark exists, but you know, it's a prehistoric shark. It's not, uh, uh, it's not a shark that is alive today. So okay, you know, it is alive know, today, but okay. This movie kind of reminded me of my my actual favorite uh, shark movie, Deep Blue Sea, because it uh, Deep Blue oh, Sea. Oh heck no, Tori! It had the. It had the super <laughs> super Are you serious? Shark. It had the. Super, <laughs> it had the super <laughs> smart sharks, and the sharks were doing stuff that that humans would think to do. And you're like, this shark is a little too smart. I don't like that. It's, it's actually really scary to me. So deep blue, deep blue sea was the, uh, was the uh, setting of the best speech ever given by somebody. 
<laughs> Definitely. Samuel L. Jackson giving it to us. Yes, sir. Blue us. My head is like a shark's fin. I don't. I still don't know what that means. But, <laughs> but whatever. LL. So, uh, um, I I enjoyed it, man. It was fast paced. You know, the 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 romance was cool. Um, between Jason Statham and uh, um, the the Asian lady that I'd never even seen before, who uh, Su Yin in the movie, the little kid, the um, the little kid, she was amazing. Like she was so cute. Uh, what was her name? Mei Ling. Uh, what was it? Oh, um, I didn't get her name. She was so <laughs> she was so amazing in the movie. Um, every time she was on screen, it you know made me smile. I, I went to the movie with my children, and my wife. And they all enjoyed it. You know, we were all, you know, squirming in our seats every time there was a shark attack. Uh, we were all so tensed up. The baby girl, every time a shark would show up, she was like, a shark, a shark. It's a shark. And I'm like, Sh shut up, Steph. Uh, shut up, Olivia. But, you know, she was just enjoying the movie so much, you know, that mm -hmm. it, it made me enjoy the movie. And then to see, you know, uh, social media stars on there like um, your boy Paige Kennedy. I've never seen him in the film before. Um, the young lady Ruby Rose who's gonna be playing Batwoman. You know, I recognized mm -hmm. her from the from the John Wick movie. And then um uh, Rain Wilson from my favorite my my favorite show of all time, The Office, um, was in it. And uh, you know and, and also Death of Superman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he played he played Lex Luthor in Death, Death of Superman, right? So uh -huh. um, you know, I I just enjoyed it, man. It was just a quick wild ride. You know, I didn't expect it to be um I didn't expect it to, to make me think too much. And uh, I got the shark deaths, the uh, the 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 scary. Every time somebody got in the water, I was scared for them because I I just felt like everybody was gonna get ate as soon as they got in the water. And um, you know, they had the near misses, and then they had you know, it was just it was just great to me. Uh, the the people outsmarted the shark in the end. Uh, the the hero out shark out outsmarted the shark in the end. <laughs> out shark. You don't think that uh you know Jason Statham is the smartest person in the world, but. He did um out outsmart the shark, so I enjoyed it, you know. So you know, that's me. So what about you, Chuck? I, I it seems like you didn't enjoy the movie. What's up with that? Oh, here we go. Set that timer. Set that timer. Hey, this is what I like. This is not the what I like section. Oh, oh, oh you don't need yeah. to set the timer for I don't this. I need to set no time on this one. All right. So the things, the way this movie won, the graphics were awesome. I love the way that they made the sharks. They looked like they were really there. You could tell it wasn't like, uh, like you know, a lot of, you know, sometimes with the CG isn't that great. It looks like, okay, it looks like they got a CG item on there on the screen with, you know, real, real actors, you know. But this one made it look really good. It looked, he looked like he was out there. He was out in the water. He was on the boat. He was eating people. So everything about the, the look of the movie, I give two thumbs up. That was great. Um, I did like the shark. Um, I... I like how I guess aggressive the shark was. Like he had no <laughs> remorse for any animal, uh, any human, any machine, any boat. He just rampaged everything. I everything. really like the part when the when the little whale was looking at them at the uh, in the little <laughs> aquatic center. Oh, oh, oh. It was so that sad. had me rolling so <laughs> bad because that that little that little whale wanted to get up in there so so bad. <laughs> uh, we saw what happened to him the next second. He gets just taken out the screen. Um, I do like the little twist that they have. Uh, spoiler alert if you are going to check it out. They have two sharks. Two two of the Megalodons. And we know what happens to the second shark. Um, it gets killed and then it gets eaten. But uh, So so that was that was cool. I, I, I don't dislike the cast. Um, some people... You know, I, I'll get that into my dislikes a little bit. Some people I didn't really care for their character, didn't really flow correctly with everybody. But, you know, I guess if you go to the movie with no expectations, you know, you probably enjoy, you'll enjoy it. It's like one of those old Godzilla movies, maybe. It's like, you know, it doesn't really matter about a plot or something like that. But just as long as something's destroyed and it looks good and it maybe scares me a little bit. But that's about all the likes I liked about the movie. That was it. I'm done. All right. <laughs> get time get time to spare <laughs> you can sing a song real quick <laughs> oh man let's see here um for me as far as this movie was concerned i appreciate that this movie was not nearly as bad as i thought it was going to be i went into the whole thing thinking that this movie is going to be stupid and if we weren't going to be reviewing this movie there's no way that i would see it um and so a lot of my positives actually had to do with um 
the negatives as far as the advertising were concerned. Like the advertising to me did not show that the movie had enough suspense like it really did. Like there's some really suspenseful parts of the movie. Like when um, your girl, her real name is Bing Bing, Bing Bing Lee, uh, Su Yin uh, in the movie, when she was uh, in the water by herself, particularly when you see it on a big screen, that's like really suspenseful, you know, because you can't see the shark. Uh, and then all of a sudden, I think the regular sharks are coming at her, I think, for a second before the big one comes. I can't remember. But that's it's really suspenseful. There are some really suspenseful scenes in the movie that were not portrayed very well in the advertising. Um, with the advertising, like, it was a lot of, um, you know, dum, dum, ba, dum, ba, da, da, a dum, ba, dum, ba, da, da. I don't know what song that is, but it's, that was like, it was like somebody singing. And it was like it feels like a Christmas song kind of feel, and it's like. Are you doing stupid. your likes or your dislikes? I'm I'm, I'm not sure. These I'm, are I'm, likes. These uh, are likes. But what I'm saying is that the the trailers didn't do a good job of presenting what was actually a pretty decent movie. Is what is what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, um, like with the whole thing with the shark swimming underneath all the people, like that seemed dumb because the the best parts of the movie when the, where the shark was dealing with small groups of people. And it just really didn't do a good job of presenting that. So um, I went in with my expectations really low, and I was pleasantly surprised by the fact that there were some some good uh, shocks in there. And, um, you know, it was interesting. Um, and the only thing I'll add to that is that it did borrow some ideas from Jaws, like the whole thing about having two sharks that's actually borrowed from Jaws 3, where in the first Jaws, in for Jaws 3, there's one shark, and they kill it, but that's the baby shark. And then there's a giant shark that attacks an underwater setup just in the same way as they did in the Meg. So I didn't have a whole lot of pros about it. I just liked the fact that I wasn't disappointed in this movie. All right. So let's get into the negatives, mate. All right. I don't know if Jason Statham says mate or not, but I, <clears throat> I'm going to say he says mate. So mate. let's get into the negatives, mate. <laughs> we'll go with Danny first because Charlie's going to need the whole rest of the show, I'm sure. So uh, <laughs> uh, go ahead there, man. How did it fail? To me, um, um, what's his name? Dwight Schrute's his character was a fail for me. I, I like uh, Rain Wilson in most everything that I've ever seen him in. But uh, to me, he's always going to be Dwight Schrute. And that whole sequence of him going out there to try to kill the shark on his own was just the stupidest thing I've ever even <laughs> seen yeah. on screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, was just, it was just dumb. <laughs> there is no reason. Look. No, I mean, maybe it's because I'm black and I, my brain just works differently. Ain't no way I'm going out there in the dark trying to chase no, 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 not happening. Right. No, so, um, it wasn't even, it wasn't even entertaining to watch. Like that part of the movie to me was just like so, so dumb that I was just like, no, he, he deserves to die. And then, you know, him falling off the back of the boat and nobody said like, <sighs> like that, that, that was, that killed me. And then, um, <laughs> for me, the, um, the shark just wasn't as big, like it wasn't big enough. Like they made it realistically big. Like they made the shark scene, <laughs> like <laughs> I see your face for sure, but like the shark, yeah. was, like, it wasn't to me, big enough to me. It just seemed like it was like, I'm expecting like, we just watched uh, Jurassic Park, you know, not too long ago. And I'm expecting like some huge prehistoric, you know. And then in the pro in the posters, like you see his mouth is like engulfing this small little tiny person, you know. And you know, it just the shark just wasn't big enough. Like it, it didn't seem as intimidating. I mean, it, it didn't seem intimidating. It, it was sixty feet long. It's lo it's bigger than a blue whale. I mean, how how big does it need to be? To me, <laughs> I was like, I'm like, this thing was ginormous. Like when the <laughs> when the second shark. When the first shark, uh, when the second shark ate the first shark, it just didn't seem like it seemed. I don't know. It just didn't seem big enough to me. The shark just didn't seem like as big as I imagined it would be from from like you said from the previews. So, okay. uh, you know, those two things, and then like the some of the comedy. Even though I like like Paige Kennedy, his comedy didn't land in in all the right like you know all the right areas. Um, certain parts I liked him. Like his highs were were just mediocre, but his lows were just like, Ugh, you know, um, <laughs> but those, those things didn't, you know, didn't kill the things that I liked about it. So, you know, overall, I think I enjoyed it, but 
Yeah, I, I'd watch a, I'd watch a sequel if they had one. I see. I was expecting it to be Sharknado. That's my thing. I was expecting Sharknado type stuff. Well, we we knew you were gonna like it if you if you thought it was gonna be Sharknado. I mean, it's an Oscar award winning performance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this makes more sense movie. to me. <laughs> I was expecting like a Sharknado type thing. Like this was gonna be some outlandish mess, but the like the characters were relatable to me. You know, um, I I felt for them. The the relationship I, I enjoyed watching that develop. But you know, this is this is the dislikes. But I'll I'll talk more about what I liked in the end. Go ahead, Chuck. Go, uh, I, I, I can have my extra minute on your time. <laughs> real, real quick, then, a question for you. So you, you said Paige Kennedy is a YouTube star. I, I never heard of him before. Like, what yeah. did he do? Yeah, he um he got he got famous on Vine, I think, on Vine, and then like he started doing YouTube and Instagram videos. He's yeah, he's real big on there. Him and um Splack and all those guys, they're from from YouTube and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> um, let's see. So how did this movie fail uh, in a lot of ways? To me, I mean, I guess the last two Shark movies that's come out have been really good movies. Like, the even though they don't have a lot of characters, it's just so suspenseful. It's scary. It's like, oh, wow, they know how to make some dang Shark movies. Like, was it 47 meters? That freaking thing had me bump. I mean, that was crazy. It was like, oh my gosh, oh my god, like the whole movie. It's like, and uh, what's the other one? It was like shallow. I think the last one was when the when the lady was like stuck out there on the rock, and she was trying to get to land, and then Shark was out there trying to just going crazy on her. Yeah, I guess. Be. I mean, so I was thinking it was like, okay, it's probably gonna be, you know, something scary like that. Maybe like they're stranded somewhere, and this thing, massive shark, is just destroying something, or at least. It will, it will go the Jaws route that's like, okay, it's creating a chaotic situation. Like, it's destroying a whole beach, you know. It's like, oh, people are just scared to get in the water type thing. Like, Jaws had more people frightened about that little shark compared to this Megalodon thing. So, I guess because it was so deep in the ocean, it never really made it to humans <laughs> until the end of the movie. And then it didn't really eat that many of them, which was a disappointment. Yeah. I, I kind of was like, okay, well, if a giant shark, it's probably about to go straight swallow like half a couple beaches, just eating little <laughs> kids and dogs and just like, you know, some crazy stuff. They got to bring the National Guard, the, the Army in there, the military in there to go fight. It's like something crazy happened. I don't know. I guess my expectations just didn't were not fulfilled. So that's why I was like, oh, this is what this was. And I didn't. <laughs> I guess – Jason Taylor, uh, was it J J J J J Joseph? What? <laughs> combining real life and movies. Yes, yeah, combining his real life. Jonas. I was reading the name. I saw Taylor. I was like, Jason Taylor. Okay, that's not his name. But you know what I'm talking about. The guy, the fight guy. All right. I don't see the point of him in this movie. I I didn't see it when I when I saw. Like, is he gonna hand? He gonna fight this thing hand to hand combat? To me, he's not a. Uh, I want to say. I mean, he was good um, in in his driving movies, but I guess he doesn't seem like a type of person that's gonna like fight some crazy animal type thing. I don't know. I just, it don't see him. I don't see him in those type of roles. And him in the water, just, I, it wasn't believable to me. Like, okay, he's some super diver guy that just saves people. I don't know. It just wasn't very believable for me. I think they could have saved some money and just got some no-name actor and could have done just as well with the movie. Uh, let um, me just point out real quick that he actually is an Olympic diver in real life. <laughs> really? I said he wasn't believable in the movie, so I mean, <laughs> but what I saw in the movie, you know, he just seemed like, you know, like he was out of his uh, his genre a little bit with the with this with this particular movie. I guess him fighting the shark was stupid to me. Like jumping out, them jump out the ships and just like having little underwater battles, like they're Aquaman down there. It's like, okay, this is getting a little much. Like you can just track down a shark in the water, swimming after it. I'm like, you know how fast a shark swims, and he just like catches that sucker on the when he's trying to eat the girl in the uh, in the tank, which was another dumb move. Like, why would you get in the water with the shark? <laughs> like that's the stupidest thing I can think about. That like, he can eat boats. Do you think he's not going to just swallow this little glass thing? And the chick was just talking about, oh, it's not going to break. I'm not worried about it breaking. 
he can swallow the whole thing. So I just, I thought that was like the, the plans that they had to kill this thing were so dumb. I was like, just put something in the water. There's a lot of blood somewhere. Get him to come up and blow the stupid thing up. I mean, get in the helicopter and just hover over it. He doesn't know what a helicopter is. He's been underwater mm -hmm. for freaking like you know, a couple centuries or whatnot. Millions of years just down there chilling. He does not know what anything is. You could kill him very easy. You put a bomb in the water, he'll swallow it. They tried mm -hmm. it. Didn't work. Game over. So I don't know. It's they could have they had a lot that they could have worked with on with this movie. I think the script was kind of like, oh, we're gonna have some big cool monster thing and we're gonna get some superstar and everybody will like it. It's gonna be fun action movie and have a little scary parts. Like to me, the plot seemed a little eh. They could have just worked a little harder, made a good story out of it. Mm -hmm. um, I would have liked that they would do some more with the underground um, little uh, city thing that they were in. <laughs> The underwater, like oh, if they would have had more stuff in there, kind of like on Deep Blue Sea, like you're they're at a location and they're the sharks are trying to kill them. Like if they mm. had something like that, I thought that would have been least scarier than what they did. Mm. Um, I don't know, I, it just wasn't my it wasn't what I thought it would be. I, I gave it too too much of a uh, I guess a, a high rating before I saw it. I was like, oh, it's gonna be great, they got freaking giant megalodons coming out, this is gonna be awesome. You gotta mm -hmm. do like me. You gotta do like me and lower your expectations. I, I got to. I was like, oh god, this is <laughs> this is not scary at all. This is kind of boring. I'm like, <sighs> see, look, I think you should have went to see it with. I think you just took the whole family to see it. Like the kids really. I think your kids especially really would have enjoyed it. That's probably true. I don't know. And maybe so. Yeah, maybe so. I, I, when it. we went and saw when we saw Forty Seven Meters, and I let the kids watch that, it was hilarious to me watching how scared they were. Yeah, but I don't, exactly. I don't know if this would have been as scary, but maybe it would have been. Maybe then I'm I would have enjoyed it more. Kendra and Stephanie and and DJ. Oh my goodness, DJ moved from seat to seat to seat. He could not <laughs> just could not sit still. He was like, he, look, he I'm get closer and closer and closer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was like sitting on your lap, like during the middle of the movie. Yeah, it was so funny just watching them like tense up because of the, you know, so yeah, try I mean, sit down with the kids whenever it comes out on Netflix and and put it on. <laughs> okay, so to, in, to so let me get this right. To enjoy this movie, I need to watch my kids scream in horror. Sometimes I mean, sometimes movies are just better with a group of people, like a group of people that you, you know, that you care about. So, I don't know. They I they did. So so did you feel there was a lot of a lot of ah moments in this on this one, in yeah. Movie. I did, yeah. I was tense. I was tense during the movie, man. Like for real. I was like, you know, I don't like, uh, I don't like uh, suspenseful movies, really. So for me, like oh, every time man. somebody got in the water, I was like, gosh, they're gonna get it, you know. So I don't know. I enjoyed it. Gotcha. Okay. All well, right, Rashad. Sure. I think I took Thank enough time. I was. For I was I was wondering if I was going to be able to get in there sometime before I said views from a different side. Like, I'm just going to up and say views from a different side. Subscribe to the five. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love animal movies. Not this one. Uh, it's okay, though. I don't have a whole lot of negatives to say. It's not that it was a perfect movie at all. It's just that I don't really have a whole lot. Um, but I agree with you, Chuck, that there's definitely not enough death in the movie. That was the one thing. It's like, like, it took a long... Okay, so Toshi died, okay? And then after Toshi died, it was probably a good half hour, maybe, before uh, the wall, which is the fat dude, died. So that's two. And then the other guy, the um, the dad, died of just injuries. Like, it, he wasn't eaten by the shark. And then the shark got to where there were thousands of people, and it killed maybe somebody, maybe, maybe a two, couple people. Five, five, I think. Five, that, I mean, they, I mean, and it was inferred death. Like, I really wish I wanted to see if it's a shark movie, a giant shark movie, and the number one thing that you're showing in your trailers is this giant shark swimming underneath thousands of people. Like, some people need to get jacked up, and that, that was disappointing to me. Um, I hated the very ending, like the very, very, very ending of the movie. You know, because you're sitting to watch... I think it definitely could have could have had an after credit scene. I thought that would have been good. But when they got there and it said Finn, I like that. I just I wanted to throw something at the screen. I that was the corniest crap 
I have seen in a movie in a long, long time. That made me madder than the ending of Ant Man, and that, the ending of Ant Man made me pretty doggone mad. I'm like, Finn, <laughs> come on, dog! Like, come on, that's just trash right there. Just end the movie. Uh, I mean, that's just that's back from it's like some throwback from like fifties and sixties or something. Um, the other thing was that the uh, the helicopters crashing into each other at the end, like they're circling around, and then they're just not paying attention, and then they just happen to crash into each other and then crash into the boat. That's stupid. <laughs> like that just it took away from the movie. Like you mean to tell me they can't fly the helicopter any better than that? The three of them. They had to have a way for them to get off the boat for to make everybody else get off the boat. <laughs> right. That was like the last part of the script was written. It's like, wait, they're on this boat. How are we going to get them in the water? How are we going to get them? Oh, we got the helicopters. They're going to crash. The first one's going to miss each other, but it's going to hit the second one and then hit the third one, uh, the boat. That was dumb. <laughs> and then the last thing, the, this, that didn't make no sense moment. How did Jason Statham know it was a Megalodon? Like, I can understand, um, uh, what's her name? Su Yin, knowing it was a Megalodon, because she studies animals and things like that. But you're talking about a creature that's been dead for millions of years. And, and he, hadn't even, he hadn't even seen it yet. He's like, that's a Megalodon. Like, that's exactly. like, I'm, I'm, I'm walking around my apartment, and all of a sudden some dogs or some creatures are getting killed or something like that. And then I see a, a car get thrown someplace. I'm like, that's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Like, say that why would I assume that's a Tyrannosaurus Rex without me actually seeing, oh, that's a Tyrannosaurus Oh, even when he saw it, it's like, why didn't he just say that's a giant shark? Like, why wouldn't he know? Why would he say specifically that's a Megalodon? That just didn't make no sense to me. This is a small thing. Did he say that, though? I don't remember him saying that. I remember him saying that there was something down there and her, the girl saying yeah. that he was right. Yeah, he's, I think he said it yeah. when, um, no, I thought the girl said it. When she when she was getting eaten by the eel, and then the the shark came and grabbed the eel. Well, not the eel, but the squid. Yeah. And then she like saw that. the. I, I thought like that's that. when she said that. But he but anyway. said it too. He he yeah. definitely said it. But anyway, so uh, Danny, should people see this movie? Yes, they should go see it with a group of people. With... <laughs> don't don't go see it by yourself. Go see it with somebody that you that you like. This is one of them good. This is a good date movie, I would say. Uh, Tiana enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. The kids enjoyed it. Um, I say yes, go see it. It's the thing is, this movie is more about the tension. It's not about yes, okay. If you see a shark movie, you want to see death, but what is that? That's my that's my. <laughs> <laughs> you see it. You, we'll you, never hear ti uh, Charlie's timer go off. <laughs> yes, yes, you I told you I had extra time because I didn't say nothing good about it. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's right. Uh, you want to see the deaths, but yeah, you're right. There, there wasn't enough of there wasn't enough deaths for a shark movie. But this one was kind of more about the tension. Uh, bef you know those tense moments, just believing that somebody was gonna die, like in the shallows. Like a, a lot of people didn't die in the shallows, or you know, uh, 147 meters. A lot of people didn't die in those movies. But you know, the suspense of the people that you are supposed to care about in the movie is supposed to be what. Uh, carries that so um, that's all for me y'all um, look look for us you know Ace Blade in the game uh, Greensboro Comic Con next next month September uh, 13th we'll be out there uh, but until next time stay vigilant my friends I'm out all right I got to jump in on that real quick because you're talking about 47 meters 147 that's a long way down okay oh, yes. yeah only like two people died in that movie but there was only like four characters. <laughs> so it's proportionate. You yeah. can't have a hundred people die in a movie with four characters. But this movie had like eight characters and then thousands of people at the end and like five people died. So yeah, it's, it should be proportionate. Go ahead, Chuck. <laughs> I, I gotta, I'm going to leave with something else I didn't like real quick. Does this Megalodon ever stop eating? I mean, it ate like seven whales in the movie. It's like just eating whales like his bag of chips. And then it goes eat people boats and everything else. And it eats another megalodon. So I'm like, this thing just eats forever. And a squid early. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you should I wouldn't go see this movie. I would wait till it comes out on Netflix or Hulu or wherever it comes out on. Check it out then. Um if you do go see it, just maybe um Play with your phone in the corner or something. Just have something to, you know, <laughs> to do as the movie goes on and look up on the good parts. 
you know, when when things actually happen. But you know, don't look for good dialogue <laughs> from any characters because there is no good dialogue. They just kind of just are there on the screen. But and the little girl doesn't get eaten either, so don't worry about her. She's not important. <laughs> but um, I'm sorry. It wasn't a great movie for me. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I'll see you guys on next time. <laughs> I would say, um, <laughs> I said, bring your phone. Just look at your phone during the movie. <laughs> that's a, that's horrible. <laughs> um, I would say it's a see for yourself again. This wasn't a terrible movie. Um, it's better than Tomb Raider, in my opinion. You know, because it didn't have that glaring. This just don't make no kinds of sense that Tomb Raider had. But it wasn't. It definitely wasn't upper echelon by any stretch of the imagination, which are the movies that we've seen this year. So I think some people will like it, and I think some people won't. But I think it's all about, as you guys listening can hear, it's all about managing your expectations. If you keep your expectations really, really low, I think you'll enjoy this movie. If you're going into it looking to see 47 meters down, giant-sized, you're going to be disappointed. So. <laughs> all right guys well that's our show thank you again for watching uh of course as usual you can look at our comments we've got some people that are commenting on there we really appreciate you guys we love it when you get involved in what's going on and you you know tell uh danny that he's wrong and then he'll come back and he'll tell me that i'm wrong but we all know that he's making some stuff up so you know how that is how you know how he does uh, uh so yeah leave a comment uh also make sure you look at the um whatever you call this thing that I tell you to look down the description where you can see other playlists for many of our other videos. And of course, as you all know, you gotta, you gotta do what Charlie? Subscribe to survive. You gotta subscribe to survive. That's right. So of course, again, this is color commentary where we give you views from a, give me that squid side. Give me that little squid right here side. And then never mention that again. Peace. And it's gotta be First of all, I want to give a shout out to Navea and Monica because they are commenting on our live video. I don't know where they are, but Monica <laughs> and Navea, we love y'all. We love y'all a lot. Oh, yes, but I want to love y'all. I want to read an excerpt, an ex ex excerpt from Shark Attack, the level two uh Discovery Kids book. Eat up. It says a shark's main job is feeding. Sharks rarely attack humans to eat them. People are bony and don't taste good. Sharks eat fish and other small ocean animals. They even eat other sharks. So, I have a question. I have a question just for that. No, no question. No, I have a question. No. No. <laughs> how do you? How do we know that sharks don't like to eat us? Because we're bony. So. That, that's what a man. That's what a human wrote. Does a shark tell him? Yeah, I don't like eating people because they're bony. People are bony and don't taste good. It's right here in the book. That's what the that's what a man, a human person wrote about what, what a shark wanna, likes. You want to read the book the shark wrote? You want to read the shark book? The book that the I, shark wrote. That's what you want to read. I, I know I'm not getting eaten by a shark. I'm not gonna be out there with one. So ain't gonna be out there either. Yeah, you ain't bony. I ain't bony either. Ah, <laughs> you're right. I'm not bony. And it's gotta be. That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Turn on the TV to hide